It's May 20th, 2012. I'm here in North Carolina. We're having our solar eclipse today. Uh, while we won't have an eclipse here, we'll have a partial. But uh, to safely view the eclipse um, anywhere, even to see a partial eclipse, um, this is also good for viewing sunspots. I just wanted to uh, show everybody a real simple way, even if all you have is a cheap telescope, which is all I have, something good for looking at the moon with. Um, I just picked this up at a uh, yard sale, to be honest. But what I've done is I've just taken the lens out, got it aimed at the sun. Now I got a tree or two in the way, but I'm projecting over here on the wall. I was getting them leaves out of the way. Let me towards the wall a little bit more. There's your solar disk. Now, if I wasn't for them leaves, I'd have a perfect solar disk. I'd be able to see some sunspots. And tonight, when the sun is about to set, I will use the same method off my uh, back door. There we go. And I have a clear back. I have no trees in the backyard, so I won't have this uh, problem. It's the leaves are scattering the light. But uh, there we go. There's a nice solar disc right there. But. Uh, just wanted to point this out. This is a easy way, you know. A lot of people have a, uh, at least a cheap telescope lying around the house. Uh, this is one way you can project it onto a wall or onto a piece of paper. Um, as long as you have a nice shadowy place. Uh, of course, if you're in, in bright light, it's not going to project very well. Uh, a dark surface would be better. I wonder if I could get this to. I could probably get it to project on my TV screen, but um, I think that would be bending the light a bit too much. But anyway, and I wouldn't leave it focused on something like the wall too long. Um, I know it's not very focused light, but uh, you really don't want to start a fire. <laughs> but in case anybody didn't know this little trick, I just wanted to uh, demonstrate it. Enjoy the eclipse.